Whatever you think about the rights and wrong of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, it is a soldier's war. And having good kit is the difference between winning a battle and losing a battle. And good kit is the difference between life or death. Certainly if you're in a close-up environment, it's a very good weapon. Purely because it's small, it, it's manoeuvrable, and the sight system is very good. For instance, if you take a strike operation in downtown Basra, where um, you know, there's very uh, close streets and uh, you know, you'll just get fleeting sort of glances of, of the enemy as they're running across a, a road or they're, they're running into buildings. Um, not only can this then take accurate rounds out to 400 metres, also it's excellent for snap shooting because as you bring the weapon up, you've actually got a perfect sight picture within the telescopic sight. My only personal experience of, of being with troops in, in Basra um, you know, I know, I know a, a, an 18-year-old rifleman, for the very first time he went on the streets, he fired six rounds in close-up in environment and he got three kills and all three targets were less than 50 metres away from him. This is the SAA, it's a good bit of kit. I'm going to put 30 rounds in a magazine and what we're going to do is black those targets down the bottom, do some single shots first and then open it up the automatic and just see the rounds going down on the range. As you can see, it's an excellent rate of fire, and even when you're firing in fully automatic, the, the recoil is really good. It's nice and smooth, so you can get good, accurate rounds down on the target. It's a really good bit of kit. <laughs>